Welcome back, Drag. <laughs> Hello, Nexus. You're back. I am. Strux tells me you went to get the drive core from my remnant ship. That's true. And that you sold it to scavengers who took it off-world to make a profit. For you and them? Strux is the one you should be interrogating. Stay out of Krogan affairs, Nexus. I'll interrogate who I want. Are all Krogan terrible listeners? Wait for it. Clan Nakmore is a joke. The losers of Chachanka are now the losers of Helios. Overlord Morda has lost the Drive Core, and our colony is doomed. You're all talk, Jorgal Strux. I made this colony. If there's an Overlord, they should be from the oldest Krogan blood, Clan Jorgal. Watch, I'll rescue the Drive Core and make us so powerful that the Nexus will bow down to us. Except you can't, cause we have it. Oh, Drek! I wanted to see how long before he hung himself. What do you mean you have it? I'll let the Pathfinder answer that. Strux brought me here on a lie. He paid scavengers to take the Drive Corps and then killed them for it. I'm impressed, Strux. You're more cunning than most Clan Jorgal. Smarter, even. Not more arrogance. My father lowered himself to join your clan because he admired your grandfather. He was laughed at. Called not worth killing. But now I've bested you, Morda, and Clan Nakmore will pay with blood. You put the colony at risk over a grudge you carried across dark space? You really aren't worth killing, Drogal Strux. Get out. Take your goons with you. Now, where is the Drive Core? Hand it over. Just like that? Hand it over? It's incredibly powerful. We'll use it to power the colony. This'll put us ahead by decades. Ryder, that's unique remnant tech. If you keep that drive core, it's over between the Krogan and the Nexus forever. You have to give us something for it. It's only right. We did get shot at. A lot. What about joining our colony with your outpost? Give us the drive core and we'll be friends. New to Chunka and Nexus. Keep it, and you've created a sovereign Krogan nation. We don't abide by Nexus laws or owe you anything, even peace. Ryder, I must point out that historically, unchecked Krogan advancement has been the cause of war and disaster for many, even the Krogan. Well? Okay, Morda, let's work together. You can have the Remnant Drive Corps. And you can set up your outpost here, Nexus. We're all going to be friends and prosper, right? You bet we are. Whenever you're ready, bring your outpost people here, and they'll be welcome. This is a great day, Morda. We'll contact Addison and give her the news. Good luck, Overlord Morda. Pathfinder, this location is ideal for outpost placement. You can call an outpost via the beacon. Hello again. Thanks. This information will come in handy. Just trying to help. Be careful out there, Pathfinder. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh! <sighs> 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 
Outlaws have some kind of tech ahead. Hello? You have AVP Outstanding Pathfinder.
Confirmed. Calling outpost. You really did it. Almost a civil war, and you brought them back. But it's all about the resources. No poetry, right? I considered the Krogan a permanent loss. Too many egos involved. Thankfully, my ledgers don't care how they get filled. If I can retroactively call the Krogan colony an outpost, that's a win. But that practicality is not universal. Tan will hate this. I'm not interested in opinions that don't see the value here. Good, because there will be a lot of them. But not from me. This is the last one, Pathfinder. The last golden failure we thought we'd lost. You did it. And it'll bring thieves. Check the Zaubre system for Dr. Kennedy's trackers. I need to know her status. But for now, I need your voice to remind them what this meant. Get the flags waving. This seems more important than that. It's about setting a tone, not telling the whole story. Thanks to the Krogan doing what Krogan do, surviving despite and in spite of everything, we have another home. It's not tame, it's not safe, but it's bringing the dream back. New to Chanka. One for the records, Pathfinder. Addison out. I've located a suitable site for an HNS receiver, Pathfinder. Nav point is set. Hey, Nexus. Looking for that something special? Boomerang has got what you need. Best loot in the dunes. Here for your perusal. You're a scavenger? Not anymore, I'm not. Fine folks at the Initiative gave me a second shot. I'm on something called a probationary period, got a fancy metal bracelet on my ankle and everything. They're too good to old Boomerang. Okay, I have to know the story behind that name. I ran with Axius and his boys, he's the one who started calling me Boomerang. Kept beating me senseless and leaving me for dead out in the dunes, but I always came back. Enough about me, you're here for the good stuff. Look what Boomerang's got for you. Chana, Andromeda Initiative. Here to oversee operations and attempt to repair relations between the Nexus and the Nakmor clan. 
It is a tremendous accomplishment, securing their cooperation. Just make sure you guys don't screw it up a second time. Well deserved. Leadership's previous decisions regarding the Krogan were short-sighted, prejudiced. I won't repeat their mistakes. How's the situation here? Actually, I have a concern. There's a remnant architect in the area. You might have even seen it on your way in. If it detects us, or the Krogan, it's going to attack. I'll see what I can do. Thank you, Ryder. In the meantime, I'll have our security on alert. If it comes down to a fight, we'll fight. I should get going. Be well, Pathfinder. What is wrong with this thing? Hold it, don't move. Okay. Got an irrigation system installed under your feet. It's still testy, likes to give a nasty shock sometimes. Just make sure your footsteps around here are light. I assume you're studying agriculture. Sort of. I design agricultural machinery that performs best in arid landscapes. Really arid, in this case. Mostly I work with the botanists in the Krogan colony to give them what they need. You think they'll be able to grow crops here someday? With me on their side, definitely. Any other landmines I should be looking out for? For me, no. But I'd be careful about buying from Boomerang. He's a good guy, but a few screws short of the full ship, if you know what I mean. And we usually don't ask where he gets his wares. Noted. He once came back with a Solarian thumb. Said he thought it might be useful. See you around. Remember. Light footsteps. Oh, I thought you'd be my patient from the colony. She's twenty minutes late. The colony? Do the Krogan really need a doctor? Not for injuries. I'm a fertility specialist, Dr. Meshelanok. I'm working with the Krogan to maximize their new, more lenient birth restrictions. But I can't do anything if they don't show up for their appointments. I'm surprised you're working to help Krogan fertility. Why? Because I'm Solarian. I want the Krogan to thrive here just as much as they do. The initiative may not agree with me, but I'm doing whatever I can to lessen the genophage. Don't worry. I want the Krogan to make a life here just as much as you. I didn't mean any offense. Sorry, I'm so used to defending my stance, but I'm glad you agree. The Krogan have a real shot in Helios, better than they had back home. It's up to the initiative to help them along. Have you had any births in the colony yet? No luck so far, but it's early. Believe it or not, there's a deeply ingrained psychological pattern to colonization. Births won't happen till the Krogan feels secure. It's a biological reflex. I'll leave you to your work. Always so much to do. <sighs> Oh. 
Boomerang, have you been poking around my equipment again? You're the one who got the vault running, right? I have to say, when I heard about this place, I didn't think it would be viable. But now that I've seen what the vault's already done, I'm daring to hope. A few more years here, and you'll think of Elodin as home. I believe it. Sounds like the vault's made a big difference so far. That's an understatement. Since you activated the vault, I've observed the beginnings of cloud formations. Some of them are even nimbus clouds, rain-bearing. Months from now, we could see real rainfall. Rainy weather on Elodin. Can't even picture it. I can, and it's beautiful. What are you studying here? The evolving climate of Elodin and the possibility of water. There are already underground pockets, nasty brackish stuff, but it can be purified. My job is to see if it can someday reach the surface. Can you imagine? Rivers, maybe even lakes, on Elodin. That would be huge. Clouds, and soil that can hold water. That's all we need. Let's hope the vault provides. I should get going. Careful out there. <laughs>
Ooh. Got them all.
That's the last of these news receivers. Let's go tell Davis. <laughs> The architect is pacified. It might come close, but it won't be a danger. That's a relief. Thank you, Ryder. How's the situation here? We're making progress. It's slow, but it's coming along. I should get going. Be well, Pathfinder. junk. Another nav point fragment, Pathfinder. I've added it to the first. Here's important. Dr. O'Kear's important work can't be lost. 
Hmm. <laughs> 